Hello everybody, so today we're going to install Droidcam wireless webcam on our Android phones and make sure it runs on our PC or laptops using only your Wi-Fi connection. So first of all, we need to open our phones. So my phone is on the top left. Oh leftmost side of this screen so it's now moving so you're going to go to play store and you're going to install droid cam okay so this droid cam so it's already installed in our you know in my phone so what I'm going to do now is I'll go to my PC Sorry about that okay so so we're going to the PC part so I have here my browser and then you can go to www.dev47apps.com okay so from there you will see this this part here or this website and then it says Droid camera wireless webcam use your phone as a webcam on your PC so droid cam turns your mobile phone into a webcam for your pc use it with chat programs like skype zoom teams or with live streaming programs like obs okay so these are the main features but what we're really going to do is download the pc client component that installs the webcam drivers and connects to your computer uh, to your mobile phone so your mobile device so since i'm using windows here i'm going to download this if you're using um, linux you can use this also so i'll click on that so i have two options here i have droid cam client the first one with android support and droid cam client the other one with Android and iOS support. So if you have an Android phone and uh, an iPhone, then you better download this one. Or you can just use the first one if you just want to install it with Android. So I'll use this one since from time to time I can use the iPhone. So let's just download that one. Okay, so once you're done with that, let's install it. Let's open that file. Okay, so it has prompted me to install something. So here, you will see this one. Let me just show you. Okay, so you will see the installer. Let's click on next. So this is, this is the part where they say the disclaimer in terms. So let's just agree with that since we want to use it. And then it's going to install to programs Droid Cam. So you can also change the folder where it installs, but just for this tutorial, we're just going to leave it at the default. So let's click on next. So you have Android USB support, Apple USB support and the droid cam client so let's install both of those so it does not really take a very long time to install since it's a very lightweight program so now droid cam has been installed to your computer click finish to close setup okay so now we'll try to run droid cam on our pc Okay, so you have here the droid cam client so we'll launch it i'll just move the just move the windows on the side so there are two windows actually i can't move the other one to the second screen but i'll open up also my phone okay so once it's already connected you have your client 
ready to receive the connection all you have to do now is open droid cam on your phone okay so there we have the connection part where we can put droid cam so let's just go to website and then device ip as you can see here the ip is 192.168.1.101 so let's put it there 192.168.1.101 and the port is 4747 it's already there you can also enable audio so you just put your headphone jack directly to your phone so that uh, droid cam is the one who will transmit both video and audio but since i'm connected i've, I've already connected mine using the speakers on or the jack on my laptop so i will not anymore stream audio from from droid cam so i'll just stream the video part and then let's click start okay so now you can see my webcam okay so it's it's now facing me but on my on my on my what you call this on my, sorry on my PC it's a little um, leaning down so let's just move this window for a while so here is what you'll see on your droid cam client so from here you can talk uh, let's just move my android this is the mirror part of my android so i'll just move it away okay so from there you can use this camera to use for your online meetings like zoom teams um, google meet and all those other teleconferencing applications so i hope you learned something and if there are questions or things that i've missed please make sure you comment it down below thank you for watching